is the world's largest potato, and tonight I'm sleeping in it. It's like a potato tiny home. Large potato, tiny home. <laughs> put, put that on a sign. <laughs> is this a potato in my pocket or am I just happy to see you? It's a potato. From the outside, this potato might not look like much, but the inside is not what you'd expect. I gonna see it? This is my show, gosh darn. Everything is very farmy. Farmland. <laughs> Welcome to my tater home. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so I don't know what you all expected this to look like on the inside, but what I did not expect is a pink and sort of hipster, minimalist vibe potato. When I think about potato, I don't necessarily think like potato plus pink chairs. I think like potato ketchup. <laughs> all right, come inside, I'll give you a tour. We're gonna start in the kitchen. In my kitchen, we have this wooden bowl sink. Um, there are no real plants in here because there are no windows in here. And we're on a farm. So I imagine they were just like, listen, if you want plants, just go outside the potato and go hang out on the farm. We have a hot water kettle. And then we have a wine fridge. There's no wine in there. There's just filtered water, but uh, you could put wine in there if you want. There's basically like three themes going on in this potato. Number one, most obvious is potato theme. Number two seems to be pink and gold themed. And number three, weirdly, is Dolly Parton. I don't know what you get when you combine Dolly Parton potatoes and pink and gold, but it's probably a country song in there. Okay, so we have this little twirly thing. And then down here, we have a bunch of records. There's actually a record player sitting on the table in here. Bachman Turner Overdrive. You don't know Bachman Turner Overdrive? <laughs> I do not know Bachman Turner. Do you know Bachman Turner Overdrive? Yeah. No, you don't. Watch out! There's two chairs here, and the best part about these chairs is that you have a view of the wall of the potato. So you can just sit here and stare at the potato and contemplate if hash browns or home style fries are better. <laughs> Sticking with our potato themed stuff, we have Idaho Spud Candy Bar. Do you want to try it? Open it up. You actually want to eat this? Hold the camera. <laughs> Do you like it? Very sweet, very <laughs> sweet. So, this is actually a custom built bed that they built for the potato. It's this nice little bed in here, perfect size for, honestly, probably one or two people. And if you haven't yet seen it, the antler chandelier. <laughs> potato, okay. You may have noticed there's no bathroom in here, so let's go see if we can find it outside. That's the bathroom over there. This is actually an old grain silo that they've turned into the bathroom. I haven't been inside yet though, so let's check it out. What? Whoa, this is about to be the most epic bathroom tour ever. Turn some lights on. Oh my God, mood lighting. Beautiful, cool sink. We have a toilet with a bidet. You know I'm using that bidet. We have some robes and some sandals. Oh my gosh, a little fireplace. This massive bathtub. <gasps> I think I read in the, the handbook that these are all bath salts and the plants that are on top correspond to the scent of the bath salts. And then over here is our shower. Oh my God, look at this shower. This is huge. Dude, I love this bathroom. I live in here. <laughs> okay, I should be. All right, out, I should be. Out, 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 goodbye. Get gone. <laughs> Uh, See you. Okay, After pee. <laughs> What's really cool about this whole bathroom as well as the potato tiny home is that it's really eco-friendly. So the flusher actually, this flushes the toilet and that also turns on the water for the faucet. And then you wash your hands. And then when you're done washing your hands, you pull this back up and this dripping water will fill the basin of the toilet so it can flush. Isn't that cool? I've always been like fascinated by tiny homes. I just think that they're so stinking cool, but I've actually never been in a tiny home that has the bathroom outside of it. Like I've only ever been in ones where the bathroom is kind of included in that small space. And this is just so cool to see how they've created this gorgeous spa-like bathroom. 
that's away from the potato. It's just like a very well designed and very like well thought out and beautiful tiny homestead. It's a potato stead. Potato stead. Wow. Ah, welcome to my spud estate. Spud is state of mind. Ah, it's terrible. There are so many better potato puns out there. But yeah, I mean, this is just like one of the coziest bathrooms I've ever been in. You wanna go meet Dolly? Where's my girl? Oh, you're so far away. Come here, Dolly. This is Dolly. So Dolly is a Jersey cow who lives here on the farm. The funny thing about Dolly is that she's actually has a very quirky personality and she does not like other animals, which is why she got brought here to the big Idaho Potato Hotel, because she likes people a lot better than she likes animals. We already fed her all of her treats and uh, hung out with her for a little bit. Who's so good? Who's the best cow in the world? Mm. Feel how soft she is. She's so oh, soft. Isn't she? <laughs> She's so sassy. She is no longer interested in me because I've already fed her everything that she had to eat, so. <laughs> Hi, Dolly. You're so good. This is the outside of our potato. Very lifelike spud. As you can see, it's very well worn. This potato actually toured the entire country. This was on this massive tour that went across the country for like six years. So, it's a well-traveled potato. Sweet. So these mountains in front of me are the Owyhee Mountains. This potato is actually just outside Boise by like 20 minutes. And Boise itself sits in a valley between like a range of mountains. It's really stunningly beautiful. And this is all just farmland. This is just like, I don't know if they grow potatoes out here, but I feel like they should. I actually don't know what it takes to grow potatoes. I just know that Idaho's really good at it. Grow! <laughs> Apparently this potato would have taken 10,000 years to grow if it were real. Look, I am just like you. You are my kin. Oh, it's a tater tot. <gasps> it's a tater tot. Oh! I love you. Good job, mama. We're not just here for the day. I'm spending the night in this potato, so I'm gonna go grab my stuff. All right. Just getting all cozy for the night. We actually had some guests come by and visit to take a picture with the potato. Hi! <laughs> we are. Oh my God. <laughs> still. I'm really looking forward to the sunrise tomorrow morning. Sunset was beautiful, so I'm sure the sunrise is going to be just as awesome. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to have my coffee in the morning and come sit outside and enjoy the view from the potato. The potato farm. Dolly and I are going to hang out tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, burn. All right, it was quite cold, so I'm going to go back inside. Good night, Dolly.
That's your burrito. Breakfast, my hero. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> my, my burrito's in there too, so don't eat it. I got potatoes in my burrito. I'm so sorry. <laughs> moment of truth here. Or moment of honesty here, I guess. I was super skeptical about this whole potato thing. I was like, this is a total tourist trap. It's just this weird roadside attraction. Like they've turned it into hotels, like a money grab. I was completely wrong. This place is beautiful. The potato is so cozy, and it's such a perfect example of how tiny homes and tiny living can be really creative and really unique and still have a sense of style. The bathroom is like one of the most beautiful spa-like bathrooms I have ever seen in my entire life. I know the channel's called Miranda Goes Outside, and like I love spending time out camping and hiking and backpacking and all of it, but like ultimately our lives are mostly indoors, you know? Um, mine included. And so I think a spot like this where really it's like designed to help you get out more comfortably is just really awesome. Only in Idaho can you sleep in a potato. I wonder if Wisconsin has like a giant wheel of cheese you can sleep in. I love it here! <laughs> Some of the videos that I've watched about this potato, people talk about the fact that, you know, it's like not a luxury potato and like there's not a ton of amenities and it's kind of like out in the middle of nowhere. But like coming in from like an outdoors perspective, it's funny because it feels like absolute luxury. Hi, Dolly. Hi, good girl. Yeah. See you later. I love her so much. Look at a poopy butt. Well, I think it's about time to pack up and say bye to the potato. Whether you love camping or you've never been camping before, if you're going somewhere where the elements don't make it super possible for you to be outside comfortably, then a spot like the potato, or honestly any tiny home around the country, is going to make it possible for you to enjoy the experience of like being outside and being in nature while having the comfort of like a warm spot to go back to. Bye Dolly! Bye, potato. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments and I will visit more weird and wacky and wonderful places around the country. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Bye.